since the dawn of time, or maybe just like 10 years ago, front foot pad sensors have been the exact same and the technology literally has not really changed like at all. They're a little smaller, now they're a little bit bigger, they got some cutouts, but it's basically the same thing. You know, you've got your pressure sensor switch, under your grip tape, on top of your foot pad, and you know, it's it's worked okay, but there have definitely been some issues. I don't know about you, but I've had a million ghosting boards before. You know, I've had rock hits that nick it, and then all of a sudden my foot pad's totally smoked and I gotta get a whole new foot pad. You know, I've had issues with it deactivating when it's not supposed to, certain parts of it dying, a lot of issues. Basically, we're on 10-year-old tech currently. Until now. Whoa, wanna, 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 wanna. We got some new stuff and I'm super, super pumped about it. So yeah, we've always had cush pads for the rear um, for years and years and years, but everyone's like, Jeff, how come you don't have a cush pad for the front? Well, it's because, you know, if you have a soft enough foot pad for the front to actually make a difference, then you put a sensor on top of it, you're gonna run into some issues with that sensor peeling. And you know, it's just, there's certain things that I just don't love about it. So we've developed a whole entirely new foot sensing system for XR and for GT. I've got one for XR right now because I like riding that better. And it's super cool. You guys will find out all the details about it, but basically it's like the most high tech foot pad sensor by far. Yeah. And we're up here just testing it out, just battle testing it, you know? Um, up here at Sierra Sidewinder, Corral, up in South Lake Tahoe, beautiful Myers in South Lake Tahoe. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna trail test this thing. We're gonna smash it around on a bunch of rocks, hit a bunch of drops. Basically, try to abuse it and see if we can break it. Make sure it runs super great. And uh, I got a feeling it's gonna pass with flying colors. But we gotta put it to the test. So join me as we uh, put this thing to the test. Let's go. Test number one, drops. I say we hit this uh, entry drop, the sidewinder. Let's go. Ooh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, I would say that's pretty solid right there. Oh, and I know we got a nice little spicy bonk coming up right here. Let's get the bonkers. Could have hit that one better, but that's all good. Next time. Uphill bonk. Oop. I mean, I can tell you, like, right out the gate, this foot pad is so freaking comfortable i mean from just that first bonk right there one complaint that i've always had with one wheel front foot pads it's just like every time i hit a drop like a big enough drop my front foot comes off the front foot pad just a little bit often and then as soon as i hit the ground just whoop just slaps into the bottom of my foot and you know with a hard foot pad or even anything with any like good firmness to it it just whacks you and then especially if you've got one of the foot pads like with the sharp edges on them Oh, say good night to your feet. I'm old, I need some comfort. And I can tell you right now, just off that first hit, that was like the most comfortable front foot experience I've ever had. Like I never have issues with my back foot hurting on drops, but front foot, for sure, it always whacks it. So this is super nice and a very much welcome change. Oh, it's so nice on the carves. Like the edge just doesn't even feel like it's there. It just like full on conforms to your foot. So this one that I'm rocking right now is the Kush Low. Um, obviously, we're also gonna have a Kush Wide version, but you know, I'm a, I'm a low boy myself. I got, I got size, uh, size 10 feet, so I don't think I really need to utilize the wide as much. Ooh, check this nudge. Oh, right up, no problem. I cheated though, I got the remote. What are you gonna do? All right, Elijah's gonna go ahead. I'm gonna blindly hit this big old monster kicker right here. This is probably my favorite hit on the whole entire mountain. I hope it hasn't changed since last time. Ooh, look at that, just gorgeous. And speed is absolutely your friend on this one. So this is kind of like the faster, the better type scenario. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God. My feet feel like they've landed on marshmallows and clouds and like that Kirby character from a Nintendo game. Oh my God, it's amazing. Man, I love this trail. If you guys haven't had a chance to ride Sidewinder Corral up here in South Lake, do yourself a favor, do yourself a solid and come ride this thing, man. I'm telling you, this trail is so freaking 
good. And best part about it, it's not like this weird quasi legal one where it's like, yeah, it's open to mountain bikes, but you could ride one wheels down. No, 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 this is an all use trail. You can ride it on motorcycles. So one wheels are like 100% legal out here. So come join us, Sierra Sidewinder, Corral. Come on, let's go. Dude, right there is where I got so wrecked riding Austin's board that one time. <laughs> that six and a half inch hub just high side rolled me so bad. That yeah, landed right on my freaking tailbone. I was hurt for like two months. Shit, it still kind of hurts now just thinking about it. Ooh, here we are, the old rock waterfall. Oh, Elijah's just dropping it? With the camera like that? Oh my God, Elijah, that was nuts, dude. Good work. Let's see if I could drop it half as good, man. Whew. I mean, I think Elijah's was a little cleaner, but hey, I made it down. Yo! Oh, yes! Dude, did it cut? Is that what happened? No. Oh, okay. It was sick, though. I love that fall. That fall was like... A super long slow motion fall. Yeah. It's just don't fall. It's fine. It's not like you're riding hella tough. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Ooh. Sorry for the wait. Had to fix my divot. If y'all burn out on the trail, make sure you fix your divot. It's only right. Ooh, a little hit. Ooh. Man, I know we solved back foot fatigue like seven years ago or something crazy like that, but being able to solve front foot fatigue is mind blowing. And it's about damn time. I can't believe it's taken us this long. This is crazy. Ooh, this trail is so flowy and nice. Love it. Oh, did you hit it? Sick. I sprayed it, you know, I wet it down for you. It's like the cable park, you gotta spray the features. Oh, back foot creeping on that one. Hey, Elijah, how you doing up there, bud? Doing great. Yo, everyone, give Elijah a shout out in the comments. He's sitting here riding just as fast as us, maybe a little faster, carrying all the camera gear, whole rig, gimbal setup and everything. Woo, this man's is a champion. Dude, felt nothing on my front foot right there. That's crazy. Ooh, this is where Sidewinder gets his name right here. All these little switchbacks. Sidewinder. It used to be super beautiful. There was a huge fire here a few years ago that almost ripped all the way through South Lake Tahoe. Yeah, shout out to the firefighters that saved South Lake Tahoe. Oh, yeah. Oh, I couldn't even break it loose right there. And a little bonk for the finisher. This is amazing, you guys. I'm so pumped. Hey, Jesse, throw me a rock. For the true test, you would never, ever take a rock. I'm going to turn my board off because I got on Trotter Start. You would never take a rock and, like, do this to your foot pad. No, what are you doing, bro? Get a mistake. Get Hold a on, let me rock. hit it a couple of times. Let what? Me hit it a couple times. Let me hit it a couple of times. Whoa, Jesse, Jesse, go easy. You gotta give them the people's Oh my they... God, you got, oh no. But you know what? We turn it on and guess what? The thing's gonna be working flawlessly, flawlessly. And guess what? I'll jump off, no fear of ghosting at all. It's crazy. So we fixed it. Like how many times have you guys taken a fall on trail or like hit oh, something nice. and you just take a little nick out the top or like a little rock just dents it a tiny bit and then your foot pad's smoked. There's no saving it. Session over. Never again. It's the most durable, foot pad sensor battery, out there by far. Gas, but if that sensor's not ready to ride. Yeah, I mean, you guys probably saw the other day on, I don't know, I posted on Insta or something. I hit a little curb, a little nose slide, popped off my board roll, just barely caught the corner of the curb. Okay. Thing ghosted out into the street and just like blew my bumpers up and like oh. bent my controller box. Like it was not good. So oh, yeah. Another human. <laughs> and, and how many times? Like I was on a group ride with Gold Country the other day. We we're out there with Wade. Wade flipped his board over. It hit a little rock, pinned his, it pinned his, uh, his foot pad sensor, broke it, 
And now his, he's just screwed. He's halfway through the ride. Now he's like, well, we got to carry my board now. So he had to take his board apart, unplug the foot pad, turn it on, then plug the foot pad back in so it's hot, it's live. What the yeah, because it's pinned I on. Driver ready for that even. Yeah, I've just I've seen it happen way too many times. So anyway, get yourself very durable foot pad. I'm so stoked on these things. It's freaking bulletproof, man. Is that the name for it? Just bulletproof? Bulletproof Kush? Guess what? We can make it in purple, dude. That's it. Yeah, we're gonna keep testing this, but we're gonna let Lodge put the camera away so we can just flow a little bit, have a good time. And uh, film a little Incense Cedar doubles run. These boys are gonna try to do a full full pull down Incense Cedar doubles on one board. So we'll see if it works out or not. Anyway, thanks for joining me guys. Float on my friends.